Hello friends, welcome to Prismatics Online class. In our today's class, we are going to solve question on the board. And the question says, use mathematical induction to prove that for every positive integer n, that 7 raised to the power n minus 1 is divisible by 6. Okay, let's start. Solution. Um, let's look at the base step, case one, which is what base step. Now, let us test for P of one, that is N equals to one. From the equation, we have that seven N, seven raised to the power one minus one. Is it divisible by what six? Now let's go. This will give us what seven, which is seven. By a lot of indices, seven raised to the power one is seven minus one. Is it divisible by six? This will give us six is divisible by six, which will give us one. So you can answer hence p of what one is two because it is divisible. If I assume you get five over six, it's not divisible. So it is not true. But 6 divided 6 is what? Divisible. Okay. Step 2. That is case 2. Which is what? Inductive step. Case 2. Which is what? Inductive step. Inductive step. Now, let us test for P of what? K. That is n equal to what k that is n equal to what k that is what n equal to what k i hope you are following n equals to what k that is inductive step we are going to test for what p equals to what k p p equals to what p equal p of k that is when n equals to what k okay from the question anywhere we see n we'll call this k k that is from the equation of minus one is it divisible? Is it divisible by let's just say C is M? Okay, if we divide it again, we are going to so C is, is divisible. So now let's let's go make seven K, make seven raised to power, make seven raised to power K the subject of the formula. That is, we have seven K is equal to C. Is M plus this minus will cross this and equal to plus one. Call it equation star. Okay. Now case three, which is what inductive inductive hypothesis. Now which is what now let us test for P of what k plus one that is n equal to k plus one that is what n equals to what k plus one we have tested for what inductive step that is when p here we are looking for what p of k that is when n equals to what k now we are going to look at what inductive hypothesis that is we test for what p of k that is when n equals to what p yeah, n equals to k plus 1. So we are testing for what p of k plus 1. That is when n equals to what k plus 1. I hope you are following. You understand this step. Okay. Now let's go. From the question, from here, anywhere you see n, call it what? k plus 1. This is 7k plus 1 minus 1. Is it divisible? Is it divisible by what? Uh, 6. And let's just say 6h where this h is an element of all positive integers okay now by a lot of indices we can split this in 7 raised to power k dot 7 raised to power 1 minus 1 is it divisible by 6 okay now now let's go okay from here now we can turn this in upside down by 7 into 7 raised to the power k 
minus what? 1. Is it divisible by what? 6. Now, recall from equation star. Recall from equation star. From equation star. That 7 raised to the power k is equal to what? Uh, 6m plus 1. We substitute it here. Okay, what do we have here? 7 into 6m plus what? Uh, 1 minus 1. Is it divisible by 6? 7 times this will give us what? 42. 42m plus what? 7 minus what? Uh, 1. Is it divisible by what? 6? Okay, now when we have this now, what do we have? We have 42m plus 7 minus 1 will give us what 6. Is it divisible by what? 6. Okay. Now let's go. So we have 42m plus 6. Is it divisible by 6? Okay, looking at this, let's just have this and this. There is something they have in common. Um, can we have this in as 6 into bracket 7m plus 1? So that when you say 6 times this, we give this. 6 times this, we get this. Equals to what? 6h. Is it, is it divisible by what? 6. Now we can now say, let h equal to uh, what 7m plus 1. Finally, what do we have now? 6, we substitute this thing by h. 6h is equal to what? 6h. You can divide it. So it is what? Divisible. Well, you, you supposed to know that this where this m where this h comma M is an element of what positive integers. So you cannot finally conclude that having done that, that P of K plus 1 is true. Therefore, P of 1, P of 1, comma, P of K and P of K plus 1 are, are what's true for all positive number what N. And that is down to this. Okay, I hope you understand it. Do you have any question? If you have any question, ask. Okay, in the absence of no question, ah. Uh, I hope you are okay. Okay. Now, thank, thanks and God bless you. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Prismatics Online Class. Follow me on Facebook, the same Prismatics Online Class. Like, share, and comment. Bye.